Welcome, welcome, travelers of No Man's Sky, to the Daily Nexus Soap, my friends. I'm glad to have you here on today's video. We have finally come to the month of September, which means that next month, on October 7, is the Switch version of No Man's Sky. And we are about one week away from the poll star coming to an end so if we are going to get no mint sky 4.0 in my opinion and my theory guys is we're going to see it before switch and after poor star now here are my top five features that I want to see part of no Mint Sky 4.0. So hopefully, hopefully, hey, who knows? They might be added. Now let me know what are some of your worst lists, or or let me know what do you think of mine. Alrighty, ready for for this? Come on, guys, let's get this video started. I think that this is. On, on everybody's top request, SIP customization. Now, this is one of my things that I'm hoping for the 4.0 the update brings to the table. Now, a couple things that we can go about doing this is either one, we can buy the parts for it. Which I imagine they're going to be pretty hefty in price this or two we can find the blueprints out somewhere on other planets galaxies or we can craft the resources to both them. Now I prefer the last one guys is to craft it for your and perhaps this station can be a way to craft your own um, star step. So I think that that is would be a good way for it to do it with. Now, because I know, like I said, sub custom station is pretty hot on topics. So that's number one, guys. Let's go to number two. Well, here we are. Here we are. Again, back on the same space. This one, exactly. Haha. <laughs> that's a day slapper. So, number two that I want to see added is multi tool customers. This one as well. Um, same thing with the star steps is we can either buy all of the parts or we can go and find them the blueprints or we can craft them with the resource this is now I'm hoping like I said with SIP customization for the third part is I want to be able to get the resources and to craft them because what happens if you collect specific resources that makes your multi-tool special, and that this multi-tool will be will be completely different than, than all of your other friends. And I think that this station here is the way that we can go about it. And um, like I said, multi tools they really haven't been improved m much and maybe even adding some different types of weapons uh flame throwers flame throwers i could not get my hands on that flame thrower weapon that um very few have had like what was it like a couple months past perhaps um, the flamethrower weapon 
was came up and I couldn't get it. But let me know um, if you, um, let, um, if you do have that flamethrower weapon, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, let us go to number three. So, Settlements has been a miss for me. The Frontiers update wasn't my favorite of, of all of the 20 updates that we've had. Now, how to improve? I think the best way to improve Settlements is by building more of it. I think that's the best route to go because we really can't do much here. I mean, we do have some kind of events that we can help the other villagers, if you would call them. And sometimes we do get those sentinel fights. Like, I had one. Before I started recording this section of the video, but guys, that's about it. You really can't do much with what settlements, and I don't go back to my mine at all. I just don't feel the need to go back. But I think that building your settlement um, blueprints. Creating more buildings, crafting them would be the way to go to improve settlements. All right, let us go to my wish list number four. This one might be a far-fetched one, and I don't know if it's going to be added for four point zero or any of the the future updates. Now. Creature generation. I love it. Don't get me wrong, but I do want to see some of the E3 trailer creatures from that trailers be somehow added to No Man's Sky. Um, I don't know how. Um, if Sean Murray has ever going to do that. But hopefully one day, cause cause I want to see mega fauna, big big fauna guys. So pretend that you are walking on a planet, and then you all of this sudden see this massive fifty meter tall creature just walking on by that would be mind-blowing to see so megafauna would definitely make the game a lot more interesting to play and also to go out and explore some of the planets um, I think the, the E3 trailers all of them were considered to be mega fauna, like like the diplos that we saw in the trailers. I'm pretty sure that those were well over 50 meters tall, and the diplos now we have they're about three, four, five meters, perhaps six or seven. I think the biggest one. I found was like a nine meter the blow a while back, but um anywho, yes, mega fauna creature generation is my number four, guys. All right, now on to my last one, and then lastly number five, M -m -m my fifth feet. That, that I'm hoping that 4.0 has going to be in it and that is going to be having some kind of end 
game mechanic to the game. Perhaps we can get a galactic threat like the abyss that would be very satisfying. A, a worthy fight t t to save the g g galaxy. Now, I did do a video about this specific topic, guys. So if you do want to see that video, um, I do re recommend to go watch it. Now, how could it work? Is portals, gateways, black holes, um, like for example, and the big galactic space, we could have a huge portal open up and all of a sudden you get all of these very very strange you know um, evil looking uh, starships and creatures pouring in and we gotta fight it in order to save that quadrant or that star system from being completely overrun uh, now, there are specific planets out there that are called infected planets. I'm pretty sure you guys have um, seen them for yourselves. Now, those could also act like portals or beacons as well. So, I think that could be some ways that we can get the end game. Christ, yes, be a be a part of it. Um, crisis, guys. Endgame, Christ, is yeah. Why not a galactic threat that we should fight in order to save the galaxy? But let me know, guys. What are your thoughts about these five features, and what are some of your was? List as well. Let me know in the comments below. If you did like the video, smash that like, smash that subscribe. If you want to see more of my daily this is so content, safe travels, safe travels out there in the universe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.